Hi, I'm Charlie Senecal, National Accounts Manager for Satellite Suites, and I'm here with the 10-foot two-station Satellite Suites restroom trailer. I'm going to give you a tour of the exterior today. I'll start with the tongue, which is a heavy-duty steel tongue mounted to a 12-inch structural steel I-beam chassis. Uh, starting with a 12-inch I-beam chassis gives us a lot of strength. It also allows us to have a larger capacity waste tank. The waste tank itself is 275 gallons. Uh, it's made of polypropylene, which is a, a heavy-duty plastic. It's smooth. Waste won't stick to it, so it's easy to clean. When waste won't stick to it, you have a better smelling waste tank, better smelling trailer. Uh, it also has a bottom dump, so the dump valve comes out the bottom of the trailer. It has a built-in sump, a low point sump, so waste all gathers in one place and then goes out the bottom. So when you get more waste out and the waste doesn't stick to the waste tank, the trailer smells better. Uh, the exterior of the trailer is actually seamless gel coat fiberglass, so it's like the outside of a boat. You won't see rivets all over, you won't see seams all over. When there's no seams and rivets, there's no place for water to get where you don't want it. Behind the gel coat is actually composite skin instead of wood. So if, if wood were to get wet, wood would swell up and cause a delamination. On this trailer, there's composite behind there so you would never suffer any damage uh, to your wood swelling or being exposed to water. The framework for the outside walls is aluminum. So these outside walls are made of aluminum and composite. Uh, the blend together is very strong, very lightweight, uh, and very consistent from trailer to trailer. So each satellite suite trailer is like the next versus a wood frame type unit. Uh, also up here on the front of the trailer, we have a 20,000 pound coupler. It's adjustable in height to accommodate the height of your vehicle. We have a 12,000 pound jack. We also have a Group 24 battery, which comes standard on the trailer. The main function of the Group, of the group 24 battery is to provide emergency braking should the trailer become disconnected from the truck. It also serves a nice secondary function, which is it'll lights, water pumps, vent fans, and your entertainment package should you lose power at an event or if you want to run simply from the battery. Um, length of time you can run from the battery varies from an hour or two to a day, just depending on usage. We have a 7,000 pound torsion axle on this trailer. The trailer itself weighs about 4,200 pounds, so we have a heavy duty axle that's gonna take, uh, take up to the daily abuse that these restroom trailers see. The steps are very, very easy on this trailer. To fold them up, simply fold the bottom step in the middle, put the middle back in, and now you're ready for transport. Same thing to set them up. Middle step out, bottom step down, and now you're ready to go. Handrails, very easy to operate. Simply pull up, put them in place, pull them in front of the door for travel. Restroom trailers use a vacant and in use sign. It's operated by the deadbolt. So when the customer steps in and locks the door, the in use light goes on. When he goes out, the green light goes on to let the other guests know that the unit is open and available for use. We have a 16 inch wheel. Uh, it's an eight lug wheel on a radial tire, heavy duty radial tire. Well, the lights on the outside of the trailer are all, all LED lights. Every light, actually both inside and outside are all LEDs. On the back of the trailer we have Sidewinder style leveling jacks. A lot of trailers that have a scissor jack back here and is low to the ground, often gets drug off uh, and means, means you have to replace it quite often. Or it gets filled with sand and grit and then the scissor jack doesn't work. So we're going with a Sidewinder leveling jack. It's more heavy duty and it's certainly more easier to operate and longer lasting than a scissor jack would be. If you want to clean out the waste tank on the Satellite Suites trailer, your access is on the rear. There's a four inch port that goes into your plastic waste tank where you can actually pressure wash the, pressure wash the tank out. The roof on the Satellite Suites trailer is made of over armor. It's a composite skin. It's not vinyl or rubber. Vinyl or rubber break down in the sun and tend to, uh, tend to rip and require maintenance. Also, if you snag them on a tree branch, you'll get a rip and then you have a, a leak in your roof. This is a composite blend of fiberglass and polypropylene. It's called over armor and it's licensed exclusively to satellite suite. You'll notice it's rolled on the sides so water comes off the sides instead of puddling on top of the roof. When water puddles on the roof, then you have more opportunities for a leak in your roof. So it's rolled on the sides, and it's a puncture proof, uh, stronger than rubber or vinyl, won't hold water like aluminum will, so 
So the roof on the satellite suites trailer is certainly an innovation that we're very happy and very proud to, to provide to our industry. And that's the exterior tour for the satellite suites 10 foot two station restroom trailer.